It's a test drive at minus 10 degrees Celsius on an icy track in the Swiss Alps. Horst Wippesteg is in his element. I only think about how I'm going to evaluate the vehicle, about how the car performs, about how it steers, how it responds, if it oversteers or understeers, what the balance is like. The act of driving itself is more or less an unconscious one, it's purely routine. Wippesteg has been testing tires for the German Automobile Club, the ADAC, for 15 years. I really like the variety in my job. There are new challenges every day. I repeatedly face situations where I'm pushing the edge of the envelope. There's a lot of adrenaline. I think I need it. This series of tests is looking at 50 different winter tires manufactured in Germany, France, and China. We give scores subjectively, like a grade in school, from one on down to six. Some tires are in a one, that's the best, and others are at the other end of the scale. The job is about strong nerves and quick reactions. I accelerate to 35 kilometers an hour, even out, and now that we've reached speed, I break. How was it? Good, 10.8 meters. Time for a quick break. Wippesteg spends six months a year testing cars. He used to be a rally driver, and he's also raced on courses like the Nürburgring circuit in Germany. He often spends 10 hours a day behind the wheel. The mechanics mount the tires for the night driving test. The results of these trials influence what German drivers buy. Winter tires have to provide grip in the snow. The test for that is carried out at minus 15 degrees on a hard course. Wippesteg may be 65, but the former race car driver has no intention of retiring anytime soon. I'm scared of stopping. I'm a bit of a workaholic. It's a lot of fun. So carrying on is quite attractive. I've always been a bit worried that I'll end up sitting in front of the TV when I'm retired. And that's not something I can see myself doing just yet. But I do worry about it. This is the final drive in the series of tests. But Horst Wippesteg will soon be pushing the envelope again on his next job in Sweden. <laughs>